In this educate segment, we're looking at the holidays and the perfect gift guide if you're hoping to teach your kids something with their toys. A teacher here at Blue Star Elementary in Hamilton Schools does a holiday STEM gift guide every year. My name is Andy Losick. I teach STEM for Hamilton Community Schools, and this is my holiday gift guide. We're trying to build a tower to go up to the ceiling. I love that if you go on Amazon, you can find all of these kits that have six, 800 pieces of straws, and all they are are just straws and these plastic connectors. You've got the construction elements that way. Biggest thing for me on so many of these things are the social interactions and multiple kids deciding how they're going to approach and build one thing together. No hands. No it's hands. touching. It jumped it. One of the all-time great toys is Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels Track. Now, you don't have to buy the whole theme set. You can get um, 15 feet of Hot Wheels Track online for $15. Put a couple of those together and then just turn the imagination loose. What are they learning when they're doing that with the racetrack? Velocity, that sort of thing? Oh, there are amazing physics lessons being learned every time you play with Hot Wheels cars. Um, even like trying to figure out why the Batmobile might be so much faster than the van. You know, you have velocity and friction and all of that. Aww, I love this one because it's really affordable at under $100. Robotics is something that lots of kids get into. And the thing about this Pixel robotic dog is it's super cute and it's fun and it does some silly stuff. I like how he, he runs he, and how he chases his tail. The girls that were playing with him today, they uh, did the remote control bit for a few minutes, but then they got into the coding and they had a whole dance party going on there and they realized they could make it do a lot more that way. So the clay comes from Fat Brain Toys and the neat thing about that is that it is a very not sticky clay so you can actually take some of the stuff apart and reuse it. If you mess up you can just kind of stretch it around and fix it. It's easy to fix. The fine motor development is really great, but when they're watching the tutorial, being able to follow directions. I'm making a dragon. I like it because if because you can make all sorts of things, and if you make something, you can you can actually it can stay if you like let it dry. I made a toad. And I made a fly. The hardest part, I'd say, was the part where you had to make sure that all the colors didn't mix. Legos, absolutely timeless, classic thing. But what's special about the Legos they were using today is that they're not Legos. So if you search for Lego compatible bricks, you can get 1,500 of them for the price of what 500 normal Legos would cost. They're fun and they're, you can make different things while building other things on the green map. I'm building a do girl doggy daycare. One of the all-time classics in my STEM class is the Works Zip Snip. Uh, cardboard cutter. It cuts more than cardboard. You press this lever down first, and then you press this forward, and then it just cuts cardboard. We're building a Christmas tree, and we're hanging it up on these. So that we already did one over there. Those are super safe. I even let my first graders use them, and they cut so much better than scissors. We just put bunch of random scraps out there for today and now my room is decorated with all these these great ornaments the timber planks from fat brain toys are amazing because i can use those with the four-year-olds that come in young fives and we use them all the way up to fourth grade and we're trying to make hearts to get attention for you to come over here <laughs> They're actually working on their gross motor and their fine motor skills doing it that way. They're learning balance and symmetry 
and it's just a very, very engaging toy activity. It just tells you that it's okay if you mess up, you can always try again. I always love to include a book with, um, with my list. It's been a, a kind of a mainstay since the beginning. And this year I'm featuring Failibration by Brad and Christy Montague. And it's a fun look at how we can celebrate our failures. And that is really the heart of the mindset that has always been part of STEM. When that tower of timber planks falls down or the Hot Wheels car doesn't jump quite right or it jumps in amazingly disastrous ways, then we can all have a laugh and, and, and realize that this is a place to make mistakes. We have Andy Losick's gift guide, the prices and where you'll find each of those gift suggestions under this story here online at woodtv.com. In Hamilton, I'm Teresa Weekly with Educate.